The lawsuit accusing managers of waging a relentless six-month bullying campaign that ended with a former employee's suicide. Evan Syfrey died one year ago, and his family and friends honored him with a series of demonstrations that they have planned across the country. WCPO 9 News reporter Larry Seward is live just outside Hamilton County's courthouse, where we saw a protest just this afternoon. Larry, what do they want? Family wants to win a lawsuit they filed here last year, but a family spokesperson also told me they want Kroger to accept responsibility in Seifert's death. United we stand! Chanting in Cincinnati, Boston, Michigan, Connecticut, and Oregon. Hold Kroger accountable! Protesters call for boycotts of Kroger stores and changes to the way America's largest supermarket chain handles cases like Evan Seifert's. I don't know who exactly it was, but they had given his number out to his co-workers and like he was receiving threatening text messages and then at, towards the end they started sending him child pornography to frame him for child pornography. I think that was a lot of what triggered his spiral um, because he thought he was going to end up in jail for something he didn't do. Amy Chamberlain dated Cy Free. They worked together in Kroger's Milford store, where she claims managers who did not like her boyfriend bullied him relentlessly for six months. That's organi organizational mobbing. When the, the union does nothing, when Kroger officials did nothing, when management continued to get away with bullying him, he was being mobbed by the entire organization of Kroger. In this lawsuit filed last year, Seyfried's father claims his son had no prior history of severe mental health concerns, but had a boss who mocked and humiliated Evan over political beliefs and the mask he wore. In this October court filing seeking to dismiss the case, Kroger claims the company, quote, cannot be said to have any knowledge or notice he was having mental health problems and could certainly not foresee Seyfried committing suicide, end quote. In a statement to WCPO 9 News Today, a a spokesperson added that, quote, the Kroger family is saddened by the loss of our associate Evan Seyfried and extend our condolences to his family and friends. Because this is a matter of active litigation, we are not able to comment further, end quote. Still, this crowd sounds determined to get more. It's like legally, that's what they're going to do. They're going to do whatever they can to dismiss it. But morally, I'm really hoping for a change in the way companies handle bullying. Some of those protesters formed a group called Justice for Evan last July. And if their demands are not met, they told me they will never go away. Live downtown, Larry Seward, WCPO 9 News.